Hello and welcome back to the 34th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to set up multi-touch events so this will be used as a code base for the next few tutorials. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial free. If you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just open up the actual project itself from tutorial free. Once it's opened up, you want to go to the myapp.js. Just after this uh, super, uh, you literally want to add a few lines of code. You want to do if open bracket punctuation mark. I mean apostrophe. Sorry, uh, touches apostrophe in sys dot capabilities. I'm just going to make sure the start capabilities right. Uh, it looks all good to me. Open and close curly brace, and then inside it will be will be put in this dot set touch mode open bracket cc dot touch underscore all underscore at underscore once open bracket semicolon now it's this dot set touch enabled open bracket true semicolon let's sort out the formatting see easy did not want to do that okay this is all the code we need by default it's already set up to be used as multi-touch this cc dot touch all at once is by default it's just in case I don't know, in a later version, for example, Cocos were to disable this and maybe it's a single touch or no touch is set up. That's the reason I put it in. It doesn't really harm it. And the, you need this to enable touch. In theory, you could get rid of this if statement, but this just makes sure the device you're using supports touch more than likely it would. But if for some reason it didn't, this just prevents this from causing any errors. So this is the code that I would use to enable multi-touch. Like I said, in the next tutorial, we'll be looking at how to detect a touch has occurred using this tutorial as the code base. And thanks for watching.